In this video, we're going to discuss how to switch from degree measure to radian measure and then radian measure over to degree measure. It's not that difficult, but the big thing to remember is that if we start with the initial side going out the X axis from the origin and rotate all the way around a circle and end up in the exact same initial position, the important thing to remember is that that's 360 degrees, but it's also equal to two pi radians. So that's going to be what we refer to as a conversion factor. Um, the other way to visualize this is if we divide both sides by two, that would be going halfway around the circle. We can say that 180 degrees is equivalent to pi radians. So in that case, that would be only halfway around the circle um, to get to 180 degrees or pi radians. I like using this as our conversion factor just because it's a little bit more simplified down instead of using 360 and two pi. Um, but what we wanna do is if we are given a degree measure, we're going to multiply by this conversion factor, but we wanna strategically write it. You wanna write it so that our degrees are currently up in the numerator. So to cancel out those degrees and end up with radians, you need to put the radians in the num numerator and the degrees down in the denominator. So as we said over on our conversion factor, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. At this point, we can cancel out our degrees. And what's gonna end up happening is we have two fractions multiplied together. So we can multiply our numerators. So 600 times pi. And then we also have radians as our units. And then multiplying our denominators, we have one times 180, which equals 180. From here, we can do a little bit of simplifying. You may notice that these are both multiples of 10. So we could pretty easily move it down to 60 pi over 18, still in radians. And we can go a little bit further than this, that these are multiples of two and three also. So further reducing down, we can get all the way down to 10 pi over three radians as a nice exact answer. Now let's move the opposite direction. So let's start with radian measure at the bottom and we're gonna switch this over to degree measure. So to do so, what we wanna do again is go back to our conversion factor and we're gonna say this time, we're gonna multiply by this conversion factor, but we're gonna set it up so that our radians are currently in the numerator and we wanna end up with degrees. So you wanna bury these down in the denominator so that eventually radians is gonna cancel out one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So again, we have 180 degrees equals pi radians. I'm using that version of this conversion factor. And then to work through this, what we wanna do is we're gonna cancel out radians, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. So those get to cancel out. And then we can multiply, let me see, we also have a pi in the numerator and a pi in the denominator. Those can cancel. And now as we multiply our numerators together, we have seven times 180 degrees, which gives us 1260 degrees over, we have four, and when we cancel things out, we can put ones in those spots. So four times one times one makes four. And this will reduce down a little bit more as well that uh, 1260 divided by four makes 315. And our units again were degrees because we got to cancel out radians. Um, keep this conversion factor in mind, um, makes converting in between radian and degree measure pretty easy. Um, just make sure you're lining up uh, the correct thing in the numerator and denominator of that conversion factor. All right, hope this helps. Good luck to you on it. 